Hello everybody, it is Aviac Video here, and I am going to show you how to make this bank. Hello, it is Aviac Video here, and I'm going to show you how to make this bank or safety deposit box for your best items in Minecraft. So, what I am going to do is, first thing you walk in, then you close your door. That way no one can get in and see what you're doing. Then you're going to walk in, you're going to enter your code or PIN number. But in this case, it's different blocks, so gold, ore, and bedrock. Then you click send. That way, then your minecart comes. Then you can do what you want. So I'm going to deposit these minecarts and the four chests, just just for something to put in. And then you push it back, reset your switches, and you walk out so the next person can use it. And now you click that and you walk out. You leave the door open so someone else can get to it. And it is starting to get night, so time set day. There we go. So now, I am going to show you the first thing that you need to do, and that is to build a wall that is three, if you're doing three switches, I'm going to make it three, six, nine, I think that's nine. I'll go two, two, four, six, eight, nine, eleven, thirteen long. And right before the end, you want to place a slab on the ground, make a hole three high, and leave the back one on. And you want to set back, and you're going to make an arch. Then, you're going to space colors one away from each other, and you place a button on the end. So, button, space, color, space, color, space, color. And then you have a space of three or four between there. So now, you're, you're going to want to place four solid blocks that you can place redstone on behind the button. Three colors. So now, you're going to place redstone on the ones that you want to use. So I'm going to do black and yellow. You want to bring it in, down, and there. So boom, boom, boom. Now, you're going to place three blocks. So one, two, three. And then you're going to place torches. Three torches. Redstone torches, like that. Place one bit of redstone in the middle. So you're going to turn that one off. So when you turn that one, it'll turn that one off. And when you turn that one, it'll turn that one off. And you have to have both of those off to power this one. So now, this we're going to bring this into the middle. One. We're going to bring off the button. Top, bottom, over, 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 down, down, down. I'm saying a lot of that's what she said, but that doesn't matter. Four, one, two, three. And the exact same thing here. That way, when you put the code in, that will turn on this one. When you press the button, that will turn on this one, which will turn on that one. I mean, turn off those two. There we go. And that's off. And you want to place one, two. And then now you're going to make a station by placing one block, a powered rail, a normal rail on top, and a normal rail down below. You're going to break that top one, and you place a block there, so it stops when it hits it. Then now, you're going to walk over to here, and you're going to place powered rails all the way going to one behind so there we go. So it's one behind where it starts, and it lines all the way up. You're going to place them all the way going to there. Then now, you're going to place from the not powered rail, or the normal rail, and you're going to connect it all the way right to the corner. You're going to place the normal rail. That way, it just turns and goes in. Another, that's what she said. Place that for a redstone torch and a redstone torch, powering both those rails forever. Only that rail will not be powered. 
So now we are going to place my cart with chest on there. And we can test this out. So you are going to press yellow, then black, then mud. And da da da, there's your chest. Do whatever you want to it. And place everything in there. And then I'm just going to push it right back. Boom. And now that will take, put it right there and reset it. If you want to make more users, you're going to need to make more button possibilities because with three, you only have maximum of three different combinations. So that would be black and blue, black and yellow, and yellow and blue. And there are no more, I think. So now, if you're going to make more than one, and they are close together, you're going to need to make lots of bridges. I make mine with bedrock because they look cool, but then you're going to have some repeaters to carry along the current and connecting and you're going to need to space these out. I spaced them out way too much. I could have done made them side by side. You can make literally Im infinite amounts of these. This one's just a little personal one, so you can hide your stuff, and build walls around it, you can make it into a cave wall so no one can find it. So you just reset your switches. And that should, yep, all the switches are on. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens. So you switch that one, and it turns that one off, but it still leaves that one off. And as soon as you switch that one, there we go. So there we go. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.